everyone, it's your boy, MaxOS, and today we're going to be learning how to set up and boot Raspbian and OS off USB. Let's get into it. Yeah, so this is going to be a tutorial episode, and as I said before, we're going to learn how to set up and boot Raspbian and OS from a USB. So um, let's get straight into it, but before we do, I've got a few notes. So first of all, uh, this is a Windows tutorial only, sorry Mac users. Second of all, I don't take any responsibility from anything bad that happens from this uh, uh, tutorial. And third of all, I use a 16 gig USB for my Raspbian and that works perfectly. So I recommend 16 and above, but if you haven't got a 16 gig USB, then 8 gigabytes should work fine, but I wouldn't go anything less than 8 because uh, there needs to be space for the actual operating system and there needs to also be space for something called persistent data. Now if you don't know what persistent data is, it's basically like once you boot the uh, uh, operating system, basically anything you do in that session, so uh, download things from the internet, make folders, uh, write a text file, uh, change settings, anything that you do in that session will save to the USB and then the next time you boot the OS from the USB, uh, everything will be restored, so it's kind of like a hard drive, a mini hard drive. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright everyone, welcome to stage one of the tutorial. In this stage, we're going to be uh, downloading the Raspbian disk image file, or ISO file, from the internet. And we're also going to be downloading some other software that will help us. So first of all, let's download the uh, Raspbian uh, ISO. So we have to go to the Raspberry Pi website. And once we're there, we have to click on the downloads link, which is on the screen now. Now, when you click on the downloads button, you'll come to a page that looks like this. Now, there's a few options here, but the one we're looking at is the Raspbian Desktop Edition. Now, the reason why we have to choose this one is because this is the version that works on uh, computers. The other options will work only on the Raspberry Pi machine. Anyway, let's download the Raspberry Raspbian desktop edition and let's save it somewhere that we can remember. So once it's done, we're ready for stage two. But for stage two, we're also going to need another piece of software called Etcher. Now Etcher is a software that I'll talk about later, but for now we're just going to download it. So let's go to the Etcher page and download it. Alright, so once that's all downloaded, we'll be ready for stage two. Alright everyone, so welcome to stage two of the tutorial. In this stage, we're going to learn how to burn the ISO of Raspbian onto USB. So if you don't know, burning is just an alternative method of putting something on a USB. So it's kind of like cutting and pasting, but if you're uh, handling ISOs or OSs and you're looking to put one on a USB, then burning is the way to go. Cutting and pasting won't work. So now let's get into it. So first of all, you want to open Etcher. Now Etcher is a software that will help us burn uh, anything onto a USB. So we're going to open Etcher and we're going to press uh, the first option which is select image now with this uh, you need to find the ISO that you want to burn so in this case it's Raspbian so you want to select that one and then you want to go to the next set step and select the uh, drive that you want to burn it to so once you select that we'll be ready to flash now once you press flash it might take five to ten minutes to flash um, to burn on there but once it's done we'll be ready for stage three Alright guys, so welcome to stage 3 of this tutorial. In this stage, we're going to have to access the BIOS. Now, the BIOS, or the basic input-output system, is like a secret hidden settings menu for your computer, where you can change heaps of settings, and some of those settings are essential uh, to booting a OS on a USB. So we're going to have to go into those settings, and unfortunately, I can't screen record for you guys, so I'm going to have to switch to my trusty camera. But anyway, let's get straight into it. All right, well, all right, everyone, welcome to stage uh, three. In this stage, we're going to learn how to use the BIOS to change um, some settings, and then the settings will enable us to use Raspbian OS. So I'm currently using a Surface Pro computer. So if you're using a Surface Pro, then what you need to do to access the BIOS is to hold down the on button and to hold up down the power button, and you'll see the BIOS pop up. But if you're not using a Surface Pro, then the steps, unfortunately, to access the BIOS will be different to mine because I'm using a Surface Pro. So if you are not using a Surface Pro, I recommend just checking um, forums and on the internet to find how to access the BIOS for your machine. 
and then we can get on to stage three. So once again, if you're uh, um, uh, using Surface Pro, hold down the on button and the, and the volume up button. All right guys, so welcome to the BIOS. Now this is basically a hub of uh, some settings that will help us uh, use Raspberry. So first of all, if you're if you're not using a uh, if you're not using a Surface Pro, then it might look a bit different to mine. It might look a bit different, and also mine is called the UEFI, but it just means BIOS as well. So um, if you're once again, if you're not using the Surface Pro, it'll look different, but um, it should follow the same principle. It should have the same settings. So just uh, try and follow along and see if you can match the settings with the ones that are on your computer. So first of all, we're going to go to boot configuration. Now this over here is configure boot device order. Now this gives us a list of all the devices that boot up when you switch on your computer. Now, if you've put a uh, Raspbian on a USB, then to access Raspbian uh, from booting, we need to put USB storage at the top. So as you can see, mine's already up there, but uh, if you were to use, if you were to um, use Raspbian, then you would have to probably drag up our uh, USB storage to the top. And the reason why it has to be at the top is because if you've got Raspbian on a USB, it'll boot the USB and therefore booting Raspbian before it can run Windows or, um, yeah, Windows. So that's why USB has to be at the top. So I uh, hope you guys all got that. Now let's go to security. So over here, we need to uh, change the, the secure boot settings. Now, if you don't know, secure boot is a way of, uh, is Windows way of uh, protecting against viruses or malicious software that enter through the USB port. So basically it's like a defense system, like a castle. But, um, so if you want to stay safe through the USB port, then I recommend it being enabled. But unfortunately for Raspbian, it needs to be disabled. So um, if you want to use Raspbian, then you'll have to change the configuration to disable. So once you finish that, we're just going to press exit and we're going to restart now. All right, everyone, welcome to stage four of the tutorial. In this stage, we're going to learn how to actually boot the OS. So it's going to be the fun part. Anyway, let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so welcome to stage four, the last stage, and probably the funnest part. We're actually going to boot it for the first time, and we're going to see uh, what it looks like, and we're also going to uh, set it up. But then after that, I'm going to leave you guys to explore Raspbian and just have a good time. So first of all, uh, I've got my USB here. This is the one with the OS on it. So what I'm going to do is, my computer has to be fully off, which it is. So my computer's fully shut down. Now, I'm going to put it into the USB spot, okay? Now it's in there, okay? Now, ev everything if everything's in order, uh, just secure boot is disabled and um, your boot configuration has been uh, arranged, then it should be um, okay and it should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't. But anyway, let's try it out. So I'm gonna, I put it in, step one done. Now I'm gonna switch on my computer. Okay, so it's gonna boot. All right, and it's worked. Now, from here, we need to choose uh, how we're gonna run it. So uh, as I said before, persistence is a really good feature with Raspbian, so I'm gonna run that. So then it's gonna load. So you're gonna see some command uh, things here, and then you're gonna see this. Once you see this, it, you, you're pretty much on the way to booting it. Welcome to Raspbian. I hope you guys uh, enjoy Raspbian. Uh, you can have a look around with it in uh, do some customization like me. And yeah. That is the end of today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it he helped you out. Please make sure you uh, comment your thoughts, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a great day. See ya. Thank you.